awesome. Thank you. Give it up for yourselves for coming out tonight. Fantastic. My name is Kate. I am here with you tonight. Hi. You guys like this weather? Do you like winter time? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, the cold, the rain. Masturbation season. Huh? Anyone? <laughs> You guys do seem like a year-round crowd. That's tight. I don't know why. I, <laughs> I don't know why I said season. It's every season. <laughs> it's every day. I actually learned something very important recently. I would like to share this with you. I learned this is very important. Uh, when it comes to seasonal depression, making sure that you masturbate regularly does nothing to help at all. It stays exactly the same. Exactly the same. <laughs> Didn't read that. Found out on my own. How we doing? We. <laughs> We have a good pandemic. We have a good little pandemic. Did you guys have a nice time? Did you have a good one? I started therapy during the pandemic. Thank you. Thank you so much. It is online therapy. I am paying a woman to text me back. And that is very nice of her. She has to. She's required. It's her job. She has to do it. She's a terrible therapist. She's absolutely... Awful. She broke my heart. She decided to drop the bomb on me that she genuinely believes in Bigfoot. <laughs> really sucks because she also like believes in me or whatever. So like I don't know <laughs> what to do with that information. <laughs> I am from Portland. I am from Portland. I uh, can you tell from the bangs? I'm a barista. I. Uh, <laughs> I am from Portland, <laughs> live with my brother, and he, uh, he's extra Portland, my brother. He rides an electric unicycle. <laughs> Thank you for clapping. <laughs> it's not a joke, it's my life. <laughs> it's the worst. And we like fight about it all the time because he won't wear a helmet. And I'm like, that's a very dangerous vehicle. You need to wear a helmet. And this is his logic about his electric unicycle. He's like, I don't want to wear a helmet. I'll look stupid. Uh, so, I don't know. <laughs> he is stupid. He's spectacularly he's stupid. He's a brother. You guys got brothers? He's so stupid. He's a very specific kind of stupid. Like, just so specific. Like, we were watching a movie one time, and he turned to me during the middle of this movie, and he was like, oh, my God, I love this scene. It's so beautiful and urethral. <laughs> urethral. <laughs> I was like, Patrick, I think the word that you're thinking of is ethereal. And he was like, that's what I said. <laughs> urethral. And I was like, those are not the same word. <laughs> those are not the same word. In fact, there's a vast difference between those two words. Oh! <laughs> That's a great joke. That's a really good joke. I know that. Thank you. I went to college. Thanks. <laughs> Actually, you can't clap for me. I did just graduate from college. Thank you. About 10 years ago. So I'm just getting out there. <laughs> just getting out there. Oh, man. Well, therapy is going fine. I'm doing just fine. I, uh... <laughs> Oh, man. Are you guys dating? Are you guys doing the dating thing during the pandemic? Are you on the apps? I'm on the apps? Yeah, well, I'm on, I'm on the apps. I'm on a Tinder. And uh, guys send me icebreaker messages. There's this whole culture of icebreaker messages. These guys, they send me cold messages. This dude, this is the first thing he sent to me. This is the first message he sent to me. He was like, hey, beautiful. If you are any planet in the solar system, what planet would you be? I know. I was like... Jupiter, because I got a weird brown spot and I'm dangerously gassy. Like, I don't know what you want me to say. <laughs> we had sex. <laughs> Sorry. It worked. I fell for it. I fell for it. it totally worked. <laughs> he had a cardboard box as a nightstand. Uh, so. I am out here, I am out here looking for a man, out here in Portland looking for a man over the age of 30 with a bed frame. Can't find one in the city of Portland. Can't find one. You didn't laugh very hard, sir. That's, <laughs> that's interesting. Do you have a bed frame? You do have a bed frame. Oh, that's so, okay, so like on the flip side of that, if you go home with a man and he does have a bed frame, you're gonna get 
murdered. Like, that's kind of like, it's a little too nice, right? Like, there's like folded towels in a Keurig, and you're like, these are dead ex girlfriend belongings, right? Like, that's how I feel about it. Too scary. That or his mom is like very close by, which is like even worse somehow. One guy asked me if a box spring counts. I was like, get it off the floor. Like, I can't bring my standards any lower, you know? I can. I can bring them lower. It's very easy. That's a really old joke, you guys. There's been a whole pandemic. That joke's really old. I do have a boyfriend. He is over the age of 30, and he does have a bed frame. I did it. Thank you. It does deserve applause. Thank you so much. He does live in his ex-girlfriend's garage, but he got it off the cement. It's a really old joke. <laughs> he got kicked out. He lives with me. It's my bed frame that we have. <laughs> That's what's going on. <laughs> it's a really old joke. We're married. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I would never marry another comedian is what he said to me. So... <laughs> I watch a lot of movies. I like to watch a lot of movies. I'm going to complain to you guys for a minute about some uh, guys on the internet that rate films. Uh, maybe you've heard of them. I'm not going to call them out by name, but they rate films. And they have a scale in which they rate films. And uh, I have a really big problem with the way that they rate films because the highest rating on their scale is better than sex. OK. I'm a straight woman in my late 20s. Right? Better than sex is gonna be every movie. Do you understand what I'm saying now? Do you like, why I'm so, it's so high, like how to get so high on the list. It's so high up there. Like on the flip side of that, like who's the dude who rolled off of a woman and was like, oh, that was amazing, but it was no Avengers Endgame or whatever. Like, I don't know. <laughs> that movie's better than sex. I don't even like that movie. <laughs> it's better than sex. I have my own scale. This is my scale. This is how I rate films. This is how I like to rate films. Uh, it goes uh, bad, OK, better than sex, good. Uh, <laughs> right here, yeah. Then great. Then like the highest rating you should ever give any film is like, only looked at my phone four or five times. Like That's the highest rating, phone, sex. Got to quit looking at my phone. During sex. Uh, you guys are a great audience. I, uh, I'll leave you with this, and I'm sorry. I keep getting urinary tract infections. Thank you. People usually clap. Uh, it's OK. <laughs> uh, it's too late now. Um, keep getting urinary tract infections from my bubble bath. The soap is, thank you, the soap is very uh, irritating to my female anatomy, and I'm very mad about it because dudes will like literally stick their dicks in anything. Like, sir, what's the weirdest thing you ever stuck your dick in? Just like <laughs> off the top of your head. Just like right off the top of your head. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, no, I'm pointing to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, it's cool. Like, you know, some, someone said a soccer ball, a banana peel. Like, I get them all. Do you know what it is off the top of your head? No, you don't know what it is, so you know exactly what it is. I, I say, okay. <laughs> You just can't share it with the class. I understand. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's totally okay. One guy told me, one guy told me he cut a hole in the dirt in his backyard so he could fuck it. And he lived to tell the tale. And I have too much lavender in my soap. And I have to take antibiotics. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> the soap is just too much for my tiny, angry little woman wee-wee hole. My tiny, angry little woman wee-wee hole can't handle all the soap. It's so tiny and angry. <laughs> Felt like a weird thing to leave you guys on, but you know, whatever. What are we going to do? Are you guys ready to get the show started? Are you guys ready? 